hello all today i am going to explain uh, this is this algorithm which is very very important that is your boots algorithm and this algorithm is used for multiplication of signed binary numbers you have two binary numbers then with the help of this algorithm we can multiply and find the product so before we understand this process of multiplication first of all this flow chart again this is also called the hardware implementation of the algorithm first of all you have to understand this flow chart and then with the help of these steps we can carry out the process of multiplying so uh, let us begin with this flow chart first of all we have on the top the start state and then the initialization state so here we'll specify what are the registers or let's say the variables that we are going to utilize in the process in the multiplication process so altogether there are five registers we have our usual ac which you all know is your accumulator then qn then we have this br qr and the last one is count which we also will be referring to sc okay so first in this particular step it is also called the initialization step why because we will be filling up these registers with the values zero so assigning zeros to all the registers now here because um, uh, this is a multiplication process we have these two registers br and qr which will hold the two values for example 7 into 3 so the first value will be going into br which is also called multiplicand and the second value will go to qr which is also called the multiplier and as and as we start the multiplication process we will be utilizing these other registers which will help us achieve the multiplication task okay so first of all we initialize this and we put the two values to multiply in br and qr and rest is all zero so now we'll start off with the check process in the check process we will check the value of bits which are inside our qn so inside the qn we will have uh, the binary value now this we will uh, it will be more clear when we see the example but for the time being because we are considering this flow chart we have to just understand that in this check process we are checking the two last bits which will be stored in qn so we will be checking qn and qn plus one that means the last two bits so if our uh, number of bit is five we'll be checking the fifth bit and the fourth bit another example will be if we are having let's say seven bit the 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 size of the register is seven bit so in that case we'll be checking the seventh bit and the sixth bit what are the values then according to the answer that we get we will have these three directions to go to so if let us first go and check with this direction that is if the values that we check is zero the first value qn is zero and qn plus one is one so in that case if after checking find that the value of qn is qn is zero and qn plus one is one we have to do certain updation of ac which you know is here so in ac what we are going to do is we will take up the value of br br is our multiplicand and we'll add it to the value that is there in ac that this process we will do if our qn and qn plus one is zero plus one if that is not the case then come this side if that is not the case if the bits that we are checking is the first one is one and the second one is zero in that case we do something else that is this updation process in which we will take up the value of ac again but this time instead of adding we will do minus so what minus ac minus br br again is our happening so here we are basically adding if the value is 0 1 and if the value is 1 0 we will do a minus and minus which we know, uh, we know that we can do perform the subtraction by complement so this is equivalent to ac plus br complement plus 1 we'll see later in the example how we carry out this task so these are the two steps two different steps that we take depending on the value of qn and qn plus 1 okay and then the last possibility that the value that we are checking is either 11 or 00 so in both the cases 
we have a common operation that is why it is going to this one single arrow and here we have to do what is known as arithmetic right shift this i have explained in my last note that i've given you and if you have gone through you will know that this is shifting process shifting of the bits towards right direction all right so we will do shifting of three registers that is we'll shift right shift ac whatever the bits are there it will shift by one place towards right qn the bits inside qn that also right shift and qn plus one this we will do if the value that we are checking is either one one or zero zero so after that we will check the value of count count is to check whether we have reached the end or not so if count is not zero that means if some bits are still to